Sir, you have any idea about engineering services examination that are going to be happening next year, let us say, or this year? Because there's a huge amount of uncertainty of what is going to happen. Uh, earlier, we saw that Indian Railways was pulled away. IRMS was going to come and still we have no news. You have any idea what is going to happen when it comes to engineering services? So, uh, like, uh, there is no news. Uh, that's what everyone knows. It was scheduled to be uh, decided in December. Uh, but let's hope uh, the best guys, I am still hopeful that IRMS would be selected through uh, like uh, it will be an exam which will be recruited in the same basis as that of uh, ESC, Engineering mm -hmm. Services Exam. Mm -hmm. So I am still hopeful, yeah. but there are always some uncertainties. We say that it could be uh, clubbed with CSE or it could be done uh, with the CSE pattern. Uh, let's okay. hope for the best guys because uh, mm -hmm. we know that... Uh, uh, the people, those who are going to go over there, you need at least engineers over there. You don't need mm -hmm. somebody who doesn't know about engineering and then he's looking after uh, maybe recti rectifying a railway engine or solving a mm -hmm. problem of anything which is engineering yeah. in nature. You cannot, yeah. you cannot expect any art student or a commerce student doing that job. So ultimately, yeah. you need yeah. engineers. And railways is one of the departments where you actually apply the engineering. In engineering mm -hmm. services exam, Railways was one of the departments where you used to get some engineering at least. Okay. Yes, yes. And yes. if you are that going to replace true. that, you are not yeah. going to recruit engineers, then probably uh, that mm -hmm. will not be a good sign. But I am uh, mm -hmm. certain, very hopeful that uh, IRMS would mm -hmm. come through engineering services exam, like sort of that yeah. pattern only. And there are mm -hmm. going to be a lot of vacancies over uh, there. Might be uh, mm -hmm. the engineering students, those who are appearing uh, for the exams or those who are preparing now they will have a very good opportunity yeah. yeah in any case you cannot debar the engineers we have already seen so many civil services toppers being engineers, being engineers and yes. if you if you do it by that you are only going to see the numbers turning higher engineers specialized engineers are always going to be required and there are some areas that you have to have them no doubt about that uh, the preparation for any exam that is going to come upsc a lot of my teachers used to say stands the first two letters stands for unpredictable <laughs> right exactly, exactly. Uh, th that is the thing you can't really say what is going to happen but let us see but you should continue on preparing for other technical exams because ultimately if it is going to be technical examination then your technical subjects are going to be over there and you should be ready when the notification comes exactly. when the notification comes if you start preparing at that time then you will be far behind right yes yes very okay. very true yeah you have to be always ready and today's world it's very agile you have to be ready for mm -hmm. everything guys i cannot emphasize enough how seriously you should take each and every word said by vinod sir because he is not only having tremendous experience of working in the industry cracking all the examination he has nothing left to prove but on top of, on top of that